were going to do a live OET speaking examination. Um, in the actual exam, mm -hmm. you will be given uh, three minutes to read the role play card in order for you to brainstorm and to prepare for what is going to happen next. Hi guys! So, we asked our reviewees what is it that they want to see on our YouTube vlog. And a lot of people recommended we're going to do a live OET speaking examination. So, we want you to know we used this as a material. So, OET, Occupational English Test, Nursing Version 2.0, Official Practice Book 1. At least you know that we're using legitimate materials right here. So, OET speaking, as it was explained by Philip earlier, you're provided with a task card. So, I'm the interlocutor and Philip right here is the examinee, okay? So, we want you guys to know that if in IELTS, the interviewer is the one grading the performance, in OET, it's not the interlocutor. That's why it's recorded because senior examiners based in Australia will assess your speaking performance, okay? So before we begin, first, I'll read the setting, okay? So I'm the carer, and it says right here, you're visiting a nearby public hospital with your 81-year-old father. Your father has recently been diagnosed as suffering from kidney failure. As a consequence, he is to undergo a tri-weekly dialysis program. Today is day one of your father's dialysis treatment, and while you're waiting for him to have his personal details taken by the charge nurse, you decide to ask another nurse who is on the reception desk at a public hospital for information about your father's medical condition and the proposed treatment. So, Philip right here is the nurse and he's going to read the setting. From my perspective, this is what I have in my role play card. You are working at the reception desk of a public hospital. The son of an 81-year-old man who has recently been diagnosed as suffering from kidney failure and who is to undergo tri-weekly dialysis program has approached you to ask questions about his father's medical condition and the proposed treatment. So, because Philip here is the examinee, he will initiate the conversation. So, I want you to know that interlocutors in OET are not necessarily in the medical field. Okay? So... I think we need a timer. That's okay. true. Um, in the actual exam, mm -hmm. you will be given uh, three minutes to read the role play card in order for you to brainstorm and to prepare for what is going to happen next. Would you still want to do this, Irvin, or should we get Maybe right not. to it? Yeah, yeah, right to it. Right to it. Okay. From someone who got the perfect A in OET speaking. Perfect. I love it when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this, uh, the role play lasts for five minutes. So I'm going to be, normally it's the interlocutor who will be cutting the candidate. But for now, let's leave the countdown timer to do that for us. All right. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. It seems is that you have a question for me. Is there anything I could help you with? Yeah, I'm quite bothered because my father, who is 81 years old, mm -hmm. is going to have his first dialysis treatment. And today is day one. So I, I have no idea, like... What am I supposed to expect? Will, mm -hmm. will you please tell me more? Definitely. I'm glad that you came forward with mm -hmm. that. It's, I can only imagine how difficult this must be for you, especially yeah. since it's your first time. Yes. The dialysis, it's essentially a procedure mm -hmm. in order for us to allow us to clean your father's blood. Now, it says here in the chart that you've provided me that your father suffers from kidney failure. Is this something that you happen to have been explained to you already? No, not yet. This is actually my first time. So I see. I'm a novice. I'm a total beginner. So I need you as mm. a medical practitioner to enlighten me. What am I supposed to know? Okay. I am glad that you asked. Mm -hmm. Kidney fail. Our kidneys uh, are the organs of our body that flushes out the toxins, the the impurities that occur in our body uh, based on everyday living. Mm -hmm. Now, if your father's kidney or kidneys are failing then this means that the toxins are building up inside of him. 
and this is something that is not good. And therefore, dialysis, in a way, substitutes for what the kidneys normally do, allowing your father's toxins to be uh, taken out of his body so that he would remain healthy. All I know is that I have to come here thrice a week. So what's the reason behind that? Like, can't we go here just once a week or twice a week? Why does it mm. have to be thrice a week? I understand it can be such an inconvenience, but mm. going here and the expense yeah. and, and all of that. However, the body continues to create toxins uh, every day. Okay. And the analysis can only get rid of the toxins that have built up over a certain period of time. Mm -hmm. So for example, if your father comes here today, Monday, then he would have to come back here after two days because although we've cleaned the toxin from his body today, in the next two days it will build up to an extent in which we have to get rid of them again in order for him not to suffer any ill effects. Does this make sense to you? Okay, now, okay. as you were saying, this is a medical condition, so do you think this will solve the problem of my father's kidney failure, how effective mm. is this dialysis dialysis treatment? Because you see, I'm a researcher by profession, mm. but not in the medical field. So I totally have no idea and no one in our family underwent dialysis before. So how effective is this treatment? That's an excellent question. And answering that uh, comes in two parts. It's effective in what it does, in which it removes the toxins from your father's body, mm -hmm. but it doesn't address the underlying cause of why he needs it in the first place. The reason why your father needs dialysis is because his kidneys are failing. Okay. Yes. So dialysis is more of a stopgap measure. It's a temporary measure that allows him to continue living. But unfortunately, it is unless his kidneys either get replaced with a kidney transplant, then this is something that, unfortunately, you and your family would have to go through uh, for the foreseeable future. Okay, so this is the treatment, but because this is science, there will always be side effects. Are there certain side effects that I have to be prepared for? Unfortunately, yes. Mm -hmm. The uh, dialysis is generally a safe procedure, but... Uh, every now and then, rarely, complications arise, but that's what we are here for. Uh, while your father will be undergoing dialysis, which lasts a few hours, like two, three, four hours while his blood is being cleaned, very rarely a fever may develop, he may, de he may experience chills, for example, and that's why we would not be uh, taking our eyes off of him, but rather we will be there to administer whatever medication needs to be given in order to address these symptoms. Well, my father is 81 years old already, so just in case we decide not to go for this treatment, what do you think are the repercussions and consequences? Unfortunately, sir, the repercussions and consequences would be both many and um, significant. Because if the toxins in your father's body are allowed to build up, well, this would create a cascade of problems because it would start to poison him in a way uh, because what is normally supposed to be taken out remains in him. So unfortunately, this is uh, to, in many ways a non-negotiable for you and your family. Now we understand of course that this is not... That's five minutes, I suppose? Is that five minutes or That's three minutes? That's five minutes. It feels okay. like two minutes. <laughs> yeah, we can go on and on. Okay, so that's an actual OBD speaking role play. So before we cut, do you have final words for our audience? Definitely. Related to OED speaking, of course. Of course, the OED speaking. The OED, as you would know, as a healthcare professional myself, it was not alien to me to reassure, to explain uh, such medical procedures to a layperson. So the one observation I would like to share with fellow nurses and fellow healthcare professionals is that the OET speaking is going to be very familiar. Mm. This is something that you've done a million times before. Maybe not in English, <laughs> but maybe not in English, but that's what the exam yeah. is for. It's like you're working in the hospital. You're talking to your patient mm. or to the relatives of the patient. It's just that you're speaking in English all the time. Yes. Okay. That's the only difference. So that's it for our OET live speaking examination. And if ever you're not taking OET, you're taking IELTS, we also have one for that. Okay? Thank you guys. See ya.